This is a 1940 Packard, and it's just an unbelievable car. Mario Bruno knows cars, classic cars, historic cars. Now that's a historic car. It's gorgeous. So are the others. Inside his Rockville shop, Bruno's classic muscle. Beautiful. Isn't it? I, absolutely. I mean, this is, this is a historic, it's got historic tags. It's one of more than 165,000 cars in Maryland with historic tags. And look at how the numbers have grown since 2019. According to state figures, almost 30% of all historic tags in Maryland were issued last year. Has Maryland all of a sudden discovered no. classic car restoration? No, I don't think so. Historic cars don't have to be classic. By Maryland law, they just have to be old, at least 20 years old, which in Maryland is enough to qualify for that historic tag. It doesn't necessarily get you into car shows, but it does allow you, get this, to skip the safety inspection. They don't got to get it through the inspection process. It doesn't have to be admissions inspected. And then the registration fee is, is smaller. It's significantly smaller. We found this SUV at a giant supermarket. This pickup at a park and ride. This clearly work truck on a Rockville side street. Or take these two cars, for example. Yeah, sure, they're probably 20 years old or more, which technically makes them historic cars in Maryland and eligible for those tags. But we found them way up here in a park and ride lot. Merrill Law says specifically vehicles with historic tags are not to be used for general daily transportation. It's pretty unlikely there'd be a car show up here. But the I-Team found some drivers who don't appear to know that. It's over 20 years. The best thing to do is get historic tags, register historic, and then you don't have to go through all. But how do you know it's safe to drive? Well, you take a chance. Mickey Sigsby told us he drives this 98 Grand Cherokee to and from work every day. He thought he was allowed to. He says it was fixed up by his mechanic son, but admittedly still has a few problems. Do you think this would pass safety inspection if you had to do it? No. Because <laughs> of the crack. Yeah, a hole in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a hole in the frame. That ain't going to pass. <laughs> that's one of the issues Montgomery County Police Lieutenant Adam Curry is concerned about, and part of the reason historic tag enforcement is up in Montgomery County. You'll see a lot of people advertising vehicles, you know, historic vehicle you don't need. Yeah. You don't need the, the safety inspection. We found it on plenty of Facebook ads. Here's a 21-year-old Honda that can drive with historic tags, a 23-year-old Infiniti eligible for historic tags, and this 2003 Volkswagen, which qualifies for historic tags, the ad says, so no inspection needed. Well, it concerns me. I mean, the big point of the inspection is to make sure these vehicles are safe to be on the road. Virginia and D.C. have similar historic tags, but they aren't as easy to get or keep. D.C. checks mileage on some historic cars every two years, and they have to be at least 25 years old. Virginia won't let you get a historic tag unless you have a traditional plate on another car. There's no such limit in Maryland statute. We wanted to talk to the Maryland MVA about how it checks for abuse with historic tags, but they wouldn't answer any questions on camera, telling us their own investigators can flag suspicious registrations, but that the enforcement process is handled by local law enforcement and that the increase of registered historic vehicles is within expected range. On the roads around here, Lieutenant Curry at the Montgomery County PD as it may be time for Maryland to consider changes. There is a risk to all of us driving next to or near older cars that aren't inspected, isn't there? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you're not, I mean, part of the safety inspection is checking the tires, checking the brakes, checking the windshield. It, it, it does seem like a loophole. Yes. An historic loophole. Where do you put the late 90s Hondas? <laughs> They drive them in for work. It could be putting the future of other drivers at risk. Ted Ober, News 4 IT. Wow. Now you notice how many of those tags are out there. The IT team asked the Maryland MVA if it had ever revoked any historic tags stemming from a complaint. A spokesperson said they were unaware of any in the past five years. For more on this story, including the rules for getting a historic tag where you are, visit our NBC Washington app and click on investigations. Clearly, a lot of people know, a lot of drivers know about this loophole. Mm -hmm. we got to find a way to see what they're going to do about that they're loophole. They're driving right through it. Mm -hmm.